So if I was trying to find the least common multiple, basically what I would do is I would look at them separately because you, can, you guys can see we have these two expressions. I have 7 and I have 5. All right. So let's focus on the numbers first, then we'll worry about the a's and the b's. Um, so our lowest common multiple, remember that's going to be the multiple that 7a b squared divides into as well as 5b divides into. All right. So let's look at just the numbers because that's simple and you guys even have two problems with that with um, using that. So the lowest common multiple between 7 and 5, what is the smallest number that both 7 divides into as well as 5 divides into? 35. Right? Because 7 goes into 35 and 5 divides into 35. That is the smallest number that both 7 and 5 divide into. Everybody agrees with me? OK. Now, a, the smallest number that a divides into is obviously a, right? Then you'd go to a squared, a cubed, a to the fourth, and so forth. Well, since they both don't share an a, that the smallest number that they're both going to have to divide into is going to be a. Because you can still divide 5b into this. All right, And I'll, we'll talk about more of that in a second. Then let's look at the, sl the, lar the lowest term that both b squared and b divides into. Well, we know b divides into b, b squared, b cubed, and so forth. However, b squared, the lowest term that b squared divides into is b squared. So therefore, the smallest multiple that both of these terms can divide into is 35ab squared. Does anybody need me to, anybody understand kind of on that? Have any questions? So this is just finding the common, least common multiple. It's just a little practice. 